everybody, it's Emily here, and today is day 119 of the Odin Project. Today I'm going to give an update on my progress with React and with the CV application project. So if you've watched any of my most recent videos, then you'll know that I was completing a Learn React course on the Scrimba website. I kept following that course through the section on creating forms in React, and then I decided to flip back over to the Odin project so prior to doing that Learn React course, I was creating a mini task app where a user can write a task in an input box and then the web page will render the list of tasks that are submitted. And I had gotten stuck on trying to create an edit and a delete button for tasks, which is why I decided to learn a little bit more about state and props in React. Well, after completing that course, I decided to just redo that whole mini project just to practice, and it went really well. I was able to create the edit and the delete buttons, so then I decided to start my CV application project. So I'll show you my progress so far. I just started this yesterday afternoon, and I do have it pretty much functional right now. I just need to style it. So the purpose of this project is to have basically a CV form where you can put in your contact information, your education background, and your experience with different jobs. And then once you submit it, then it will render all of that information in the formatting of a CV. So I'm gonna enter in some dummy information here and I'll show you how it works. Okay, so I have some information written here and we will submit it. And then it sort of formats it into a CV. Again, I'm still working on the styling. I just started playing around with it today. But this is the basic premise. And the whole idea with this project is that we're supposed to practice state and props. And so we should be able to edit each section and then it will update the state and props accordingly so that you can resubmit and it will reflect all the changes that you've made. So for the structure of this project, I have three main components that I use that are rendered here in my app.js file. One is called general, and this is all of my contact information. One is education for all the educational experience, and then one is experience for all of the job experience. All of the components are structured pretty similarly. I basically just update the state based on whatever the user is typing and then I render the text from the state whenever the user clicks the submit button. Now for my education and my experience components, I do actually pass the state as props to another component which renders the forms for editing those fields. And I decided to make that a separate component so that the user can dynamically add and delete education and work experiences. Now, as I mentioned in our Couple Codes video on Friday, because of my experience with that Scrimba course, I do feel very comfortable using ternary operators, double ampersand, logical conjunction, uh, dot map, dot filter. These are all things that I sort of shied away from before, but now that I have a lot of experience using them, I was able to very easily incorporate them into this project. And I can definitely see that my programming is improving and I'm becoming more efficient. So my next steps for this project are just to work on the styling and then I'll hopefully be wrapping it up soon. But that is all that I have for today. So thank you for tuning in. As always, if you're completing the Odin project or if you're thinking about completing it, feel free to say hi in the comments below. Let me know about your coding journey. If you like these updates, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you'd like to follow along on our web dev journey. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time.